One way to get really good at math, and I think this will improve your attitude towards math, it'll improve your study skills, I mean, it'll completely change everything. It's to focus on what excites you. That's right. Focus on the math that you're excited about. And so, as an example, let's say you're taking a class on combinatorics, and let's say that you hate the class. So how do you deal with that? How do you motivate yourself to do more math when, when you don't want to, right, for that class? The trick is to do some math that you do like. You see, all math is somehow related. So by focusing on math that excites you, it keeps you interested in math, and it gives you variety. So let's say, for example, that you're really into real analysis. You love delta epsilon proofs. You love learning about sequences. You love learning about, you know, Riemann sums. You love the proofs. So instead, you know, focus on that on the side. So, you know, do your, your regular work, but on the side, always do a little bit of extra math. And I think that keeps you motivated. That keeps you liking math. Because the reality is, you know, no matter what major you take, you're always going to take classes that you don't want to take. For example, in math, you're always going to take a math class that you don't like. It's just going to happen. In fact, chances are there's going to be more than one math class you take as a math major that you just don't like. Maybe it's the subject. Maybe it's the teacher. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's the book. I mean, it could be anything, but chances are you're going to take a class you don't like. And one way to get through it, again, is to really do your own math on the side, right? Focus on the mathematics that makes you feel good, right? Whatever it may be. And be flexible. So if you pick up a book on, let's say, linear algebra, and you start reading it, and you're like, I don't really like this book. You know, I, I saw a video on this book on, on, on YouTube, and, you know, Math Social was talking about it. I don't like this book. Pick up another book, right? Get a different book. Get a different perspective. Everyone is different. So I think there's math out there for everyone. There's all kinds of math books. There's all kinds of really cool topics. And if you focus on the math that you love, I really think, I really think that translates into like your classroom studies, into the math that you have to do. You know, no one likes doing math <laughs> because they have to do it. But we all love, you know, watching math videos or just learning about different types of math or you know, different things related to math. That's fun. So if you focus on that, I really do think that helps you do better on the things you don't want to do. It kind of like invigorates you in some sense. Good luck.